problem. <laughs> no problem at all. She is me that is the devil that doesn't want you to have children. This girl. Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's a weekday. Yes, I'm driving to work and I felt like filming in the car today as I'm driving to work because why not? Why why not? I mean, I used to do this a while back and I don't know, life just takes over anyways. Welcome back to to a new vlog. Today I wanted to talk about something. That's why I wanted to start this vlog in the car. I'm on my way to work in traffic as usual. What's the what's the new thing? There's no new thing. If you're in Lagos, you know that traffic is is it's your existence. Like <laughs> if you go a day without traffic on a work day, then something is really, really up. You guys can see the trailers and tankers I pass by every morning and every evening when I'm going to work and when I'm coming back from work. I don't I like the way I packed my hair this morning. It looks like a like a what do we used to call it those days? Like a messy bun, yes, like a messy bun, but just with I think that this is the longest I've kept hair for. This hair really suits me and I like it. And you guys were always or are always complimenting me with this hair. Anyways, hmm, I wanted to talk to you guys today. Oh. I just wanted to get your opinion on this. I want to give you this story time. Like, I'm in traffic, so I might as well give you story time. So, hmm, I got a text yesterday night, yesterday evening. And that's what is prompting me to make this video. Talk about this story time. So basically, there's a girl that used to work with me um we she just she came for like um she was she worked with me for about more than a year sha in the office so she 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 isn't a staff she was just somebody that we just my boss and i just took to just help us with like administrative work things sha in the office something like that but she's not a staff so my boss was paying her she started um she was doing very well. One thing I love about her is that she's hardworking. She actually even used to go to the market for me to do like market runs. I'll give her money. In fact, I remember when I didn't have a nanny, she used to tell me, Oh, I can I can come to I can come to your house on the weekend to help you do some chores. I'll be like, No, because I you know, I don't I don't want office people being in my house and all that stuff. So um I'll be like, Oh no, don't worry. There was even a time she wanted her sister to come and work with me. I was like, No, don't worry about it. She's very hardworking, she learns fast. Um, my boss also kind of like enrolled her in school in um, well told her to go to to advance because I think she only had high school diploma so to you know go to another university well one of these universities around her and my boss was you know paying her school fees um, but then something had happened we had a new boss and then the boss said everybody that is not a staff should leave the organization so she had no choice than to leave. And then, you know, I started looking for jobs for her because I didn't just want her stranded. She has a child already and I didn't just want her like stranded or anything. So, yeah, I started looking for a job for her. I think I even posted it on my Insta stories that I needed a job for like one of the girls that I was mentoring. Um, somebody had told me about a baking position somewhere in Lekki. I sent it to this girl. This girl said that her house is far from Lekki. I say okay. And somebody posted another one um, around, I think, Surulere side. It was supposed to be like a, a boutique or something. And she went there and I don't know what happened. She said she did an interview. I don't know what happened. She was still in the process of getting a job. Then she now told us that um, she was working somewhere. She was selling food for somebody. Um, you know, I was really touched. I was asking about her daughter. Is her daughter? The one time she came, I told her to come so she could, I could send her to the market. She, she came with her daughter. Her daughter wasn't looking good. And her daughter, when she, when she was still working with me, me and one of my other colleagues used to pay like her daughter's school fees, you know just to help out right i thought i wasn't looking good i'd like send her money you know just take care of yourself take care of your daughter and things like that so she told us that she was selling food for someone um and then whenever she'd come around my mother my boss would ask her that um are you still in school like in the school that she enrolled her in she's like yeah she collects school fees she collect book money she do everything so all of a sudden you know that's how one time someone just told her told us that she was pregnant I say it's not possible. <laughs> it's not possible because in all the situations that this girl has been through or has been going through, I don't think pregnancy is the next thing that she's supposed to be collecting. It's not possible. They're like, oh, that she's pregnant. I'm like, ah, at least she will come and meet me now. She'll come and tell me if she's pregnant because, I mean, what's the plan? Is it that she will not just show up and then one day she'll just show up and come and tell us that she's, she gave birth or like what, exactly how did she plan to do all of this? 
So, long story short, you guys are really trying to summarize this story so that it will not be too long. Um, one time, because we were so sure that, well, the person, people that kept telling us that she was pregnant, they were so sure. So one time she came to the office. I told her to come, to come and buy, to come and help me buy some things in the market. And she came. And then I sat her down. And then I asked her in front of one of our other bosses that is like a mom to all of us. And I was like, I just, I, I really just have to ask you because I've been hearing so many things. Are you pregnant? Because as, as soon as I'm, because I, I don't think that with all the situation that you're going through right now, like with your family living situation and everything, pregnancy is the next stop for you. And who is the guy who impregnated you? And this girl tells me that she's not pregnant. That's what she said. She said, no, I'm not pregnant. I'm like, ah, what is your tummy that I'm looking at? I said, okay, maybe you, you chop belly food now. That's why. She said, no, that she's not pregnant. So the other, um, my other boss that was there, she kept asking her. And then after a while, she said, well, she was pregnant. Guys, I just went through some rough, bad patches on the road. Anyways, so she says that had she wasn't feeling, she, was, she had a headache and she wasn't feeling too well. And her dad went to buy headache, local headache medicine for her that he mixed and that there was tramadol in it. And she didn't know that there was tramadol in it. So she drank it. And then in the middle of the night, she woke up and she was bleeding. And that was when she realized that she was, you know, losing the pregnancy. And I was like, first, 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 this gay. You went and got pregnant. You, you see your whole situation. And you went and... you Didn't you learn anything from me? You worked with me for over almost two years. Didn't you learn anything? That aside. So the my other boss said, okay, so now that you lost the pregnancy, how long ago was that? She said about three months ago. So she then said, okay, so um, did you go to the hospital? She said there was a nurse in a compound that asked her to go to the hospital, but because she didn't have money, say how much is the money? She said 20,000, that she didn't have money, so she didn't go to the hospital. So the, my madam was like, okay, well, you need to flush out your system. When you have it, when miscarriages happen or when you lose a pregnancy, you need to flush out your system, blah, 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 blah. So she then said she didn't have money. So then the my boss now prescribed some things, some herbal things that she could drink and even told her that when she gets to the market, she should call her so she could speak to the women, all this, um, yalagbo. so she will give her those things, she will boil it and drink it and it can flush her system, right? So I gave her money that day to go to the market and do that. That was fine. And then she would call, I would send her money after that time, she said she was working somewhere where they, she, they were selling food and things like that and i and then she at the time she came and said she started learning how to make chin chin and chips and small chops and i was so happy for her i was so happy to even invest in her business i gave her some money then all this time my my main boss was also giving her money and we all still thought she was going to school and because my boss was paying her school fees and things like that long story short fast forward to a couple of months later one of the people that lives in that area comes to tell us that she gave birth yesterday. <laughs> I'm like, co possible now because this girl sat in front of me and told me that she lost the pregnancy. We talked about, I talked about who impregnated you, who this, who that. She said it was one man like that, that is her friend. She, I was like, how are you even? We talked a whole lot about this thing. I didn't even know it was deeper than that. So, my boss and I decide we're not even going to put mouth. We're not even going to act like we know anything. We're just going to... I mean, is she... What's the plan? Is it, is it that one day she's just going to come and bring the child and say she gave birth? Or how exactly is she planning to do this, right? So, so that's why a couple of days later, like, I want to say, like, three days later, she sends me a text. And she's like, good morning, ma. How are you doing? How is Tisha? Please, ma. I just want to ask for your forgiveness. Listen, no. I want to ask for your forgiveness. I, I gave birth yesterday, a bit two days ago, and I'm still in the hospital. I want to ask that you and Madame should forgive me. I didn't I, I did not know that I was pregnant. I did not something silly like that, like I did not know that I was pregnant. <laughs> so I call up the the person that I know and I'm like, why is she sending me this text? And then that one is like, ah oh, madam, please, that she's still in the hospital. She has not paid hospital bills. Thank God. And then I, I speak to my boss about it. And my boss is like, Mimi, I don't even want to hear. Like, I'm so disappointed. Because at that time, we had now found out that she was not going to school. She was just collecting money from my boss. She was not going to any school. 
she hey <laughs> god <laughs> she was just scamming us basically scamming us so i just replied the message i just said congratulations but then my mind would still not leave the place so i was now following up with the lady that i know um at the time i think my boss even now gave the lady that we know that knows her like a huge chunk of money and said because that one came and said that her daughter was out of school and things like that and you know my boss and i just couldn't take it again so my boss then gave the lady a chunk of more whole lot of money but told her not to give it to this babe that we're talking about that she should go to the child's school and give it to the child's ed teacher like to pay the school fees directly don't tell her that it's from us or anything so that was how that chapter ended i just i don't even think i replied my madam said she just blocked her so that was it since then oh you guys once in like four months or once in like three months i'll just get a text like i got yesterday good morning ma'am please ma'am i'm still asking that you and madam should please forgive me i don't have anything we don't have any food to eat we are suffering i do i'm not working and now i have two children blah 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 we'll say all these plenty things please ma god will bless you we'll see all this and you know this was a this is a girl that has huge prospects in this life as in huge huge prospects but you just you just prefer to lie you prefer to cheat people you prefer to like i said she's not a lazy person so i know that if i get a job for her i know very well that she will um she will work the job right so i just got to work and the road was bad it was just shaking so i couldn't even i just had to pause and not at my work let me just finish the gist real quick before i head inside and start my day anyway so yeah where did i stop self so i got a text from her yesterday again saying please ma'am i'm not working um please help me talk to madame because i know that if you talk to madame she's going to listen to you please forgive me in my head i'm like I, you don't you don't owe me anything please forgive i've as in <laughs> i've forgiven you but i just can't you know i just can't have that relationship with you again you've betrayed my trust not once not twice not three times you know with the entire time we thought you were going to school we were even bothered and concerned when we heard that you were pregnant you didn't come and tell us we called you we sat you down we asked you you lied as in you blatantly lied to our faces that uh, you first said you were not pregnant after so much back and forth, back and forth, you now said you were, you were pregnant, but you have actually lost it. You drank tramadol. You know that you drank tramadol. One thing, one thing, one thing like that. Plenty, plenty stories like that. And then you now find, oh, so the entire time you even carry the belly. And I was telling you that this is your stomach. I was saying that I said, this is your stomach. She said, no, there's nothing there. Only for like four, five months later. Four months later to be hearing that you have given birth. You plan, you knew what you were doing. And obviously you don't need you don't need us for anything so i don't understand why she's now texting and things like that but you know it's a very 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 sad situation because after immediately after she gave birth that she sent that first text after she gave birth that we didn't answer her this girl went on whatsapp to be subbing us in fact my that was when my my boss blocked her on whatsapp i had not blocked her at the time well i didn't block her at the time but later i now did her, she now went on whatsapp to be subbing us hey you are not my god 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 is the one that takes care of people god wanting 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 oh i can live without you you know those silly 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 takes you're like oh okay all right so i'm surprised i got another text yesterday anyways basically what i'm just trying to say in this whole story time just is that don't take people for granted when people genuinely care about you like i don't know this girl from anywhere she, i don't know her from i i met her in my office like i don't know her from anywhere and i took a liking to you my boss took a liking to you we treated you like you were our sister like i know the number i know how much i've spent on this girl i know the number of things i've done for this girl I, I, and to the glory of god it's not as if i'm using it to brag or anything there are so many other people in my life in my life like that you know and i just thank god that god keeps you know it's not as if myself i am the richest in the world it's not as if my madam is the richest in the world we just do the little we can do we play our part and the least that you could do for us was not to lie to our faces every time we contacted you or asked you a question you would come you told us about some bogus chin chin business you wanted to start we gave you money you took are, are you like are you because you've just seen us as cash cow or what now you're texting me i should forgive him forgiveness is of the lord you did not do anything to me i've forgiving you but i cannot i cannot relate anyways 
I just want to know what you guys think about this whole situation. Please leave a comment in the comment section down below. I just want to know if I'm the only one that is feeling this way or if you've even had experiences like this before because you think just they pay me. You just like so anytime I see her, I, like out of sight is out of mind because I don't have her on WhatsApp or whatever. I don't even remember her until I like, see a text from her saying, as usual, please, I'm not working. We are, we are suffering. Me and my two children. After that time when she gave birth, that she had sent texts like once or twice, I'd not blocked her then. The final story that made me block her was she posted her daughter, her newborn baby, and her daughter, her two girls, she posted them on WhatsApp. And, you know, she's just like, oh, what man what man thinks cannot happen or something like that. Like, where, where man thought that they could stop, God took over, my beautiful angel. Like, basically sobbing us, like, who are they that think that? I say, ha, okay. All right, very good. Um, no problem, <laughs> no problem at all. She is me that is the devil that doesn't want you to have children. This girl is what she's like 23, I think she's like 23, 22, 23. Yes, I think she had her first child at 19, she's like 22, 23, or something like that. Anyways, you guys, I, so yeah, people might even want to ask me what's the situation with her parents. Her mom left them a long time ago when she was younger um she's the first i think she has four younger sisters also their dad likes to almost like pimp them out like looking for the isb dad person that will bring the biggest by price that's what her father likes to do and it's a very sad 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 situation my boss has also invested in her father's businesses sent her father money and the i haven't really done anything for her dad but i know my boss had done things for her dad and they just you know saw cash cow milking cow my boss doesn't even want to hear anything about this situation she does she's like please no once i bring it's like mm -mm, mm, let's talk about something else i don't want to hear i don't want to talk about it i don't want to offend god so let's just move on you know let's just move on yeah you guys let me enter the office i've talked so much already <laughs> let me know what you guys think about this situation leave it in the comment section down below i would love to read your feedback <laughs> bye guys mm -hmm.